what's going on guys Flynn one back with another video and today I am bringing you a special video it is a black ops 3 leveling guide now what I'm going to talk about here is the different ways to get level quickly while getting all your camos attachments and everything for your weapons unlocked first thing I want to talk about is your weapons the thing you can do with your weapons to make everything go a lot quicker is to simply go one by one I like doing the SMGs first make sure you use each one of your attachments because you do get a certain amount of XP for completing different challenges with those attachments when you run each weapon make sure you max it out then prestige it and then max it out again that way every time you prestige and you unlock that weapon that will be max level and it will have all the attachments and it'll be much easier to get your challenges done because you'll have all the attachments done so you'll have all your camo unlocked and everything like that. Another tip I can give is when you are trying to get weapon unlocks make sure you are running a class that you are comfortable with making sure that your specialist and your perks and everything work together smoothly. One of the perks I highly recommend is the engineer because you are able to see different score streaks and trip mines, shock charges, uh, C4, anything like that, and you're able to destroy those to gain extra XP. The next part I want to go on to is how to level your character quickly and what game mode to play. I recommend playing hardcore objectives because one, it's a one shot kill. It's going to be very easy to unlock each of your attachments because you're able to get those single headshots. Also, you're going to be getting a lot of XP from doing the objectives. You get for starting up, like on Domination, you get 50 for starting up a uh, control point. And if you take over one, it's an extra 200. You combine those with defending and attacking, you can get a huge amount of XP just from the hard point Domination matches. Uh, free for all is also another good one. Uh, team deathmatch. The kills are quick. The headshots are quick. It's gonna be easy to, like I said, to get your attachments. But I recommend the objectives because you're combining your kills for your weapon unlocks combined with all the points you're gonna be getting from those badges that you get for doing jump shots, slides, wall busters, and everything like that while completing objectives. Now, once you're at a point where you're comfortable with each of the weapon types you're going to be using is I recommend your secondary weapons getting your launchers done first because when you're sitting there trying to get regular kill streaks, your opponents are going to be getting their kill streaks and you can knock them out of the sky with your rocket launchers. So making sure that you're able to get those launchers max two will really help out when you need them. The other thing I want to recommend is your kill streaks, making sure that you get low end kill streaks to start off with because they're easy to get. You launch them enough, you'll complete challenges. The more challenges you complete the more XP you get now the way I'm setting this up for you guys is for people who are not very good at the game to a me about mediocre to a good average now people who have been playing a while you guys already probably know how to level up right but maybe you can find some tips and tricks in this video and I hope it does help you can actually see in this gameplay and I'll be showing some different footage here that you can go and not do very well but you're still gonna get a good amount of XP I don't think the I've gone anywhere below 4,000 experience points per match, and that's by completing the objectives, completing everything I needed to do for my challenges, and as well as, you know, trying to unlock my camos. And it's just really helpful because by the time you prestige, you're going to have everything maxed out. Everything's going to be good to go. That way, when you start the next prestige, you are going to have all the weapons that you could possibly need to complete more challenges to get more XP. Also, pay attention to your challenges. You're going to get different challenges for different weapons, different specialists, different skill streaks. Um, you get a certain amount for like different sliding. Make sure you pay attention to each of these every time you prestige because those grant massive XP, anywhere from a thousand to like five thousand. It is insane when you start to complete those. And every time you get those combined with your weapon unlocks, you're averaging right around anywhere from 10 to 20,000 experience points. I hope this helped you out, guys. I know it took me forever to figure this one out, and a couple of my friends, I was explaining this to them, and they thought it was an awesome idea, so I decided to make a video. If you have any more tips, leave them down in the comments below. That way, everybody else can read them, and we can kind of grow the community, and you'll get everybody involved. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, throw that me that like button. Also, leave me a comment down below on what you thought or if you have any more tips. Also, hit me up on Twitter. I love to talk to you guys, and it's kind of a fun thing. You can also follow the Twitter and my Instagram to kind of see what's coming up and what I got planned. So, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you.